Hello everyone and welcome back to my pub. Let's get some animals today. I'm not even actually gonna open just yet even, I just want to get the animals done without any distractions and maybe hope the intestine comes up in the store. I did see from a comment, thank you very much, that other people have seen the intestine in Holly's shop so it, I think it's just a matter of time before I see it. I will help out with the old candle check today. Gotta make sure every single room has all the candle holders filled. Oh I didn't know the enchanted brooms come up here, that's, that's actually hilarious. Right, I think we're all good to go on the candles. So what I'm gonna do is probably actually start removing some of these floor tiles. I wonder if I can turn them straight back into grass. No, I don't. Oh, can I? No, okay, so we have to until them then replant the grass. Oh my goodness. I wanna make a slightly more organized farm area. Even if I just have to do one tiny little amount of land at a time. Although I'm pretty sure Holly's will actually be open now. So let's make our way over and maybe grab us this turkey on the way. If I can catch it. There we go. Poor turkey was kind of just minding its own business. <laughs> Oh, I've got a cutscene. Arthur's crying. Come on, Violet, apologize to your brother. It's not my fault. I told him to keep his sword up. Arthur's little Violet, you could have hurt him really bad. Come on, Holly, it's just a bump. It's okay, honey. Always the same thing. You need to be more careful, Violet. I already said it's not. Mum's right, Violet. When you're wrong, you have to apologize. All right, Arthur, I'm sorry. I'm sorry you're such a baby. Where do you think you're going? Come back here, young lady. Oh, well, it looks like they're not open because this is happening. Do I go and speak to to Violet? Can I? No, I can't. Okay. Is there a quest with this or something? This girl. I don't know what I'm gonna do with her. I know she means well, but she needs to learn to be more careful. Violet's always hitting me. I hate her. Oh, okay. What about you? I think Holly's exaggerating a little. My brother Woody and I used to fight all day long and we turned out just fine. I think I better go upstairs and talk to Violet. Wait, so what if I go out and in again? Are they just gonna be dealing with this all day? Oh no, okay. Well, no animals for me today. I'll let them deal with their family issues. <laughs> I will go ahead and nickel their fruit though. Well, I guess the only thing we can really do is just kind of get open. I know I'm not quite back yet, but by the time I get back, then there'll be a few customers in there. Might as well have a bit of a head start. I just realized as well how many candles we don't have going on in here. So let's go ahead and fix that whilst we're waiting for customers to sit. Although we do have a room. Oh no, and an angry person, please. It's too early for this. Well, I mean, I know it's like midday, but I mean like, you know, too early in the tavern opening times. Oh my God. I was literally just about to say, why don't we start off strong with a good like three wins, but um, I literally missed the first one. Whoopsie. Anyway, back to candles. Now I would say I'm pretty sure we need more candles, but I'm hoping what I have is, yeah, I do have an, another entire stack on my person. Let's get you to a room. Come on, give me everything you got. Oh no. Oh, okay. I mean, it's still over gold. <laughs> You think I'd be good at this by now? Oh my god, this person's starting with 49. That's terrible. Give me something way better than that. Come on. Okay, there we go. There's a three. I feel like it was necessary for someone who offered such a low starting price. So we do have an important guest tomorrow, so I do need to make sure we get to bed on time today. And I do need to check that we've got everything trendy going on. So let's have a look. These are new trends. So stout, right ale, and brown ale. I think we've got a lot of strawberry items going on anyway. I've got the toast going on. Probably need some more breaded cutlet, and I can see that I've got some quiche. Okay, definitely. No, I've got 39 bread of cutlet. I think we'll be all right. I think it's just the kegs of stuff that I need to worry about. Even then, I definitely have some. I'll go check downstairs after this room. 144, enjoy your stay. All right, what's going on down here then? Whoops, that's the chest. Anything to collect? Literally nothing. Okay. Well, I guess I just get a few more things brewing. My ribs are about to run out, so I should probably get those going. Does it have to be lamb? Oh, it could be either of these. Let's go with pork this time. I'm pretty sure I just saw the parrot say something good, so as soon as I got this room down, I need to race over with a cracker. All right, let's do this. Please take one. Hey, increase the training. I'll go ahead and do some roasted fish as well because we seem to have run out. And maybe also some wheat porridge. I think I now have a quiet minute to get rid of some of these spots. Aw, can you just behave for a few minutes so I can get out of here for a, literally just like five minutes? I just want to tidy up outside. But we do have another room to be fair. There was another reason to come back in. Although I don't think I heard the bell this time. I could have just been absolutely oblivious to it. That is a perfectly reasonable explanation. But hey, I got all three, so I'm happy enough with that. All right, one section down. Then I think I'll just start doing the bits here that don't have any plants in them. I should probably be remembering to farm any gold I can as well because I'm constantly running out of fuel with all the tables I have. Now, I just heard a noise, a rep, and I don't know if it was the person just leaving or if it was the parrot. Never mind, I can't give you a cracker. Okay, so we can test that theory another time, probably the next game day, hopefully. Oh, come on. Give me a break. Why didn't you say something when I was in the tavern? I've got pretty much everything in here ready to go. I think I'm gonna go ahead and age the alcohol right away because we might as well get some extra for it. And I think I did wanna make some cheese as well, but I kind of forgot. Wait, did I make two stout? Whoops. I could have sworn one of them I made is rail, but that's fine. I guess we'll make the rail now. Or was it rail lager? Either I'll just make one of each. 
I'm gonna put the fire on nice and in advance. I should probably get some more firewood too because we are on the low side. Let's see how much we can make. We can make another 14, that's pretty good. And just as a little tip as well, where it says you can press F to plant, I also just left click. I just feel like it feels more natural for me, but it's obviously whatever feels best for you. I feel like we still have rooms free. I just wanna go and check on that. Maybe we don't. I mean, we haven't had anyone come in for a while for a room. Oh no, they're all locked. All right, I think I'm gonna go ahead and call last orders just to make sure we get to bed on time. And I'll go ahead and start cleaning up the tables a little bit in advance. Off they all go. Gonna have to check what we run out of because the rep gain, I was hoping to be nearer 300, but there's some pretty low numbers in there. In fact, I'll check it in the morning because I think I just need to send my people home and then go to bed. It is 11. Maybe I have like a minute to do it. Oh, wow. Okay. We've been very much eaten through today. <laughs> I kind of forgot to put all the food in from earlier, so that does not help. Let's do some grilled turkey. What else is easy? Stuffed chicken. We could probably do with a top up of. Maybe I do a couple of those, although we are running out of burgers. So I should probably get some more meat grinding. Let's do some pork because we kind of want an even amount of it. That's the thing is I have to remember to do like two batches of any meat. And now let's head to bed so we're not late for tomorrow. Now I'm going to do the same thing here again. I'm going to wait for 9am and go down to the shop and see if I can collect some intestine from Holly because I'm literally missing out on making any sausage related products. And obviously whilst waiting we can get a load of stuff going so let's put away all my mints and stuff for now. Oh I forgot about all of these kegs here. I should probably go ahead and like get them in there. We'll make room for that and get that going. All right now I've refreshed all the kegs. I think by the time I run all the way down to the shop we should be in a pretty good place to buy some stuff. Also got our peaches ready to go. Probably should handle that later. Let's focus on the shop first. All right people slightly more seem to be going about their day so so we should be good. We'll do the shop first. I need to make sure to be buying all of the meat and stuff. I've got 17 eggs. I'll buy a few more. All right, we'll just wait for another day for the intestine, I guess. Oh, I forgot about the animals. Uh, buy animals. We're gonna buy a hen. Bonbon? Oh my God. So they only cost 72 silver. So should we get like one of each? Yeah, we'll get one of each. There we go. Okay, so they're gonna explain how this works. To start off, enter decoration mode, place your chicken in the coop. Once assigned, it will grow and produce eggs. Remember that the smallest chicken coops only allow for a maximum of four chickens and 10 eggs. If you want to improve it, Buzz will lend a hand. My husband has always been handy with these things. Your animals will develop as you take care of them. The more they grow, the more products they will yield you. Make sure you have them well taken care of, or little by little their development will slow down. The more developed your hen is, the less time it will take to produce an egg. These will be stored in the coop. If you exceed the storage limit, your hens won't be able to lay any more until you collect them. For your animals to grow, they must have access to food and drink. If you refill their feeder and trough, the animal itself will tell you that it's had enough to be able to grow that day. Don't forget to check them from time to time. The chickens will eat grain mix that you put in the feeder of the chicken coop. The grain mix can be made at the forage table. I can also sell you rations of nutritious feed, which will make the chickens grow even more. That's all. Provide your chickens with food and drink to make sure they keep growing. When they've reached their limit, this will be the optimal time to slaughter them and get the most meat. Oh, interesting. Time to get back to work. Good luck and feel free to visit us if you need anything for your new animals. See ya. That was a pretty cute tutorial. Let's go ahead and fill up that then. And then if I open that, I'm going to take the seed mix out of there and I'm going to switch out for the nutritious feed because she said it will grow even more, right? And then I need to enter decoration mode and I need to put my chickens in the coop. One, two, three, and four. Oh my God, look at them all coming out. <gasps> Can I pet you? Oh my god, I can't pet you. I'm so sad. They're going straight for outside the fence. How dare. I made that fence to keep you safe, but I guess um, I still need to be able to get in and out as well. I don't want to have to pick up the fence every time I want to go in there, so I hope them roaming around like that is okay. All right, we're done with them, so I might as well just get open at this point. We've also got these pumpkins to harvest, so let me grab them before we go in. And we'll do our daily candle check. Wait, I still have a hen on me? I could have sworn I put... Oh no, hang on, I'll go check that in a minute. Am I just going to be carrying around a hen with me for a while? We'll figure this out. Got to prioritize these candles first, though. I mean, I don't, but like in my brain, I do. Wait, why do I have a wall candle hold? Did I accidentally pick it up? Did I buy five chickens? Can only be placed at that is quite literally a chicken coop. Okay, let's have a look at the information. Oh, I've got four hens. Oh no. What do I do with you? I have to upgrade my coop now. <laughs> Whoops. All right, let's get you to a room. We'll make sure tomorrow that we get the coop upgraded because I'm pretty sure I do have enough stuff for it. I'll have to check the mortar situation. Right, let's get this candle holder back on the wall. I can't believe I pulled that off there by accident. I just realized as well I made more brie and I didn't need to make more brie. Oh, I have so much brie. Okay, <laughs> we'll have to make some others. Right, we just age those. Let's age everything else that can be aged. Not gonna lie though, I am kind of tempted to build the barn first before I upgrade the coop. I mean, I know I've got this chicken on me. I wonder if I can just put it in the chest. Oh, my chest is full. I've got another chest. We can put another one down. Tavern must be closed to place a chest. Oh no. I could have sworn I could do this before. Maybe that was a mistake. I might have to put it in the chest outside. I'm pretty sure our guest is here as well because we're getting some good amounts of rep. Oh my gosh, is it time already to put the fire on? That's wild. Did I already put 
Yeah, I did. Okay. I just wanted to check I actually got the firewood in there. Looks like our important guest is still enjoying their time here. Going around to do a little bit of table cleaning. It's probably like the second time today I've actually bothered to do this. Oh, and they've just left. So um, that's the end of our huge rep game for the day. But I think we've done pretty well out of it. Obviously, as we go through the rep levels, it's going to take even longer each time to make more rep. And that's because obviously each level needs more of it to level up. I'm gonna see if there's anything new in the decoration section and even if there's stuff that isn't new I kind of want to make sure I get some of more things in there. I'm also noticing I don't remember digging this bit of grass back in so I'm wondering if over time the grass does grow back over the spots that aren't tilled. If so it does kind of foil my plans to want to use the dug up version as like a path because that's what it looks like here it looks exactly the same. I'd love to see an item that is literally like pathing that we can place. All right, let's go ahead and call last orders. I want to try and stay in the habit of going to bed like by midnight because then I don't get a single night that I forget about it. I suppose it depends on the day. If I especially want to get something done, then yeah, I'll stay up. But let's try and make sure we can hit every important guest. I have no idea why I just went outside. And just like that, we'll build up our gold again. Okay, new day. Let's have a look at the calendar today. Oh my God, the guest is going to be back in two days. I mean, I guess it's a different guest because they always look different. But I guess word must be going around about how good our tavern is. Once again, I'm going to try and get to Holly's shop for when she opens and check again for intestine. We're in a bit of a sausage drought at the moment. Also got our grapes to collect. We do have time to do that before we go down there. Also freeze up our farming space as well. And let's check on our chickens today. So I guess I have to go up to each chicken to look at their information. I'll wait until they kind of get out of the ramp. I mean, there's you. I can look at you. So they've been fed and watered today. I should probably go and get some more feed in there. Now they've got some each. And yeah, looks like my theory was right. The grass has actually spread a little bit more as well. So that's good to know. Means maybe that I could just get away with untilling all the tiles and then they will fill themselves in with grass over time. I mean, it just means over the days I've got less to do. So I'll prioritize untilling everything. And then after that, I'll go ahead and do the grass. Whilst we're waiting to open, I'm just going to go ahead and mine this giant stone node. I keep forgetting to check on how much mortar I've got. Actually, I should probably have brought the materials down with me, huh? We'll go back for them in a minute. Or should we just ask first? Let's ask first. So if I start with speaking to Buzz, can you... Wait, what if I hit modifications? Ooh, okay. Now that you have a building, you can modify it. There are different options in this panel that allow you to change its position, customize its appearance and increase its capacity. There are lots of possibilities. As you've only constructed one building right now, it's not possible to change to another one. As soon as you have more buildings on your farm, you'll be able to switch between them using these arrows. Okay, that's cool. So if I just wanted to swap them around, that makes it easier. The building upgrade will add more spaces for animals and other improvements. The chicken coop, for example, will be able to store more eggs. Your feeder and trough will increase its size to make it easier to take care of chickens. The barn will also increase its capacity by upgrading it, but in this case, you'll also have to upgrade its feeders and water troughs individually. For this, you'll have an option called furniture, which will allow you to improve and modify items inside it. Great, after this explanation, you must already be an expert. Remember to upgrade your buildings and their furniture to maximize your earnings and ease the development of your animals. Okay. So um, let's hit the customize button. I'm kind of curious. So we've got, ooh, we've got different looks for how they can be. I actually really like this one. That's definitely my favorite. Doesn't seem to cost anything as well. And then to upgrade it to level two, I need 12 more to 30 planks and 20 nails. And you can see that I can increase by one chicken. I can put double the feed in and double the water. It doesn't say about the egg capacity though. I kind of wish I knew how many eggs it could hold from this menu. It's the only thing it doesn't tell me. If I go to the barn section, I'm going to need 15 mortar. So we'll have a look if we've got that at home and then we'll make our way back. Actually, no, let's go to Holly's shop first. I don't want to miss out just because I like forget about stuff. I'm already here, so I might as well check on this. So she doesn't seem to have really very much produce today. I wonder if it only refreshes on a weekly basis or something. I'll come back and check tomorrow. I'm probably going to have to check every day until I get the hang of how the shop works. I also need to make sure I've got the space cleared as well. Maybe I'll make this uh, sort everything out day and send these guys home. Oh, so I have more than enough mortar anyway. Let's take these all with me. I'll just take a stack of like each thing. So we'll go ahead and build the barn. Um, I just need to plonk it. Oh God, it's so big. Oh my God, it's enormous. Um, I mean, it will fit here. So maybe we just go with it here because it will accept it. Yeah, let's put it here for now. We can always move it later. Then we'll go ahead and grab all the materials from around here. With the amount of apples and oranges I've been collecting and probably also the mangoes, I'm probably never going to need to grow them myself again. I feel like that's going to be a true like famous last words type feeling, but um, I just don't really see the need anymore. Now looking at this building site, we've got a little uh, frame going on. Oh, I've got some fences somewhere, don't I? Uh, Where did I put them? I don't remember. Are they in here? No. They're... I mean, it would have made sense if I put them in the animal area. I don't know why I've done that. Where have I put them? I'm praying they're inside, maybe? 
Oh yeah, there they are. So I'm gonna have to make room first of all by getting rid of all these weeds. There's so much grass and stuff. In fact, I could probably go ahead and get this little side bit of fence done. So it's gonna have to go like directly against the building site for this. All right, this little area should now be nice and clean so I should have no issues getting the rest of these fences down. Might still take me a little while though. And obviously I wanna make sure there's enough room down the front to walk through. And I feel like with barn animals, I kinda wanna give them more room. Oh no, is that rock gonna get in my way? Oh, it totally is. I wish I could get rid of that. All right, I guess time to move all these up. There we go. I mean, they could always have some room behind like this and I'll leave that space open so I can get in. Actually, we'll probably have to go from here. There we go. I'm pretty sure this is a big enough space for now. We can always increase it later. It might even end up just being free range, to be honest. And I guess the main thing that's left to do now is literally just uh, until all these tiles. It's gonna take me probably the rest of the day, actually probably more than the rest of the day, looking at the time now. I didn't realize it was almost 7 p.m. in game. There we go, there's one entire patch done, so we'll have to test whether there's gonna be grass spawning across that, but if I can get all the unoccupied tiles tilled today, I'm gonna be happy. I just don't know if that's gonna be possible because I realize, isn't there an important guest? Is it tomorrow or is it the day after? I don't know. Either way, I need to be in the habit of going to bed before midnight. Okay, all the tiles are now done. It's just hit 11 o'clock. That's pretty good timing. I thought it was going to take me quite a lot longer to do that. The cat is very angry because it's stuck in the wall. Can I pet you from there? I have no idea. I mean, that's your problem. It's just a cushion. You can get out of that, surely. Okay, so it's the next day that we're going to get the important guest. So let's go ahead and check the book real quick. I'm very aware that it's new trends today. So I should have all these three things. That's fine. I think I've got a bit of everything, actually. But potatoes, blueberries, grapes. Oh, no, I haven't got any pickles. Let's go do the pickles. Wait, where are the pickles? Are they in the food prep table? I guess they are. Um, Well, we're going to do pickled potatoes. Wait, can I put more things in here? I can. Okay. Well, I'm just going to do plain pickled potatoes because I did with the other one. I mean, I know I could cancel it, but I'm lazy. Now, those are already done. So let's see if I can go ahead and put those straight in the book as they are. I can. Okay, so pickled potatoes are done. Um, In that case, I'm going to go and check the candles upstairs, then I'll go ahead and open. Oh, I've got all the decorations to put up too. I need to do that first. I'm going to need to order more candles soon. Just go through stacks and stacks of them. Totally my own fault for putting down so many candle holders, but it's worth it to me. All right, I think we're ready to go because I can do the candles downstairs whilst we're waiting for customers. I just accidentally closed. Actually, no, I didn't accidentally close because I still haven't put those decorations up. I literally just said about them. Let's get these up first. <laughs> and do you know what I'm also going to do? I'm also going to remove this queue line here because I think I'm going to see if I can make this part of the dining area now. I think we're ready to have our VIP area open. So we do have more in the dining zone, so I can go ahead and add all these, I think. There we go. But I will leave it fenced off because then they'll have to walk across to get in there. Or should I open this part up as well? Probably should, right? There we go. I'll do something like that. Can I move this up one? No, because it closes the entire thing off. Okay, I'll have it like this. Now we can get open. And that's brought our comfort rating up by another like 15 points, so I'm happy with that. Now whilst I'm outside, I'm gonna keep an ear out for the rep gain noise and see if we can catch the parrot saying something nice whilst we're outside. And also I noticed that there's a room, so let's go grab that. Come on, we gotta get you off for more than 51. Damn it. I mean, uh, it's not that much better really. Better is better though at the end of the day. I'm not about turning anyone away for a room. Gonna go ahead and order another like stack of candles. Maybe we just order as many as I can be bothered to order. There we go, that'll do. And what I haven't done today is gone and checked the aging room. I know I also need to make some more, did I make some more blue cheese? I don't remember. I did just use a load of blue cheese on burgers. So I'll go and check. I've still got 19 in here, so I might be all right, but I do need some other ones. All right, looks like we've run out a few things, so let's get those being made again. Looks like I'm going to need to make more... Oh no, do I only use one pasta dough at a time? I guess I do, but I do need to make more of one of the minced meats. Which one is it? One of them had an odd number. Can't have that. It was the chicken. Let's make more chicken. There we go. I'm also going to do some grilled lamb, because I don't think we've done that before in here. That's a new one for us. And as for fondue, let's do a blue cheese and cheddar with potato, because that's trendy right now. I just realized I think I forgot to go to Holly today, didn't I? Let's go check. Go to your room first and then let me run out of here. I'm just gonna have to risk the rep loss, but I think it'll be worth it. We'll just have to pray that everyone behaves as I've left for a bit. I mean, hopefully I'm not that long anyway. I feel like I sprint at a kind of decent speed. I mean, could it be a tiny bit faster? Absolutely, but you know, we gotta make do with what we've got. Please sell me intestines. <gasps> intestines, oh my God, yes. Okay, so I think like until I can get a good supply of intestines, I'm gonna only start selling sausage related items whilst they're trendy and I know they're coming up, so I'm gonna make them in advance. I also just had the order bell go, so I think I've got a room to serve. I do. Okay, that definitely works really well. This one's starting off as gold, so let's see how high we can take it. I thought I was gonna miss the first one then. Uh, we can get this one and then last one. Come on, let's do this. 
damn it, way too early. I so much jumped the gun, but 130 is still pretty good. All right, so checking the calendar for what the trendy item was. It was chorizo. Oh, I've got another room to do. All right, I'm coming, I'm coming. I've also got more food to put in the book anyway. This guy offered way less, but it's fine. Give you somewhere to sleep for the night. So let's get all that food in there. Gonna have to make more wine soon too. We are getting a little low on the wine. So how do we do chorizo? Should we just do some chicken? Okay, so literally you just pick the meat. Okay, there's no other little additions into it. Good to know. Let's go ahead and make some brandy. Let's get rid of this person. Oh my god, you're up already? Give me a minute. I feel like this is the first time in a while I've actually run out of water. I just keep like forgetting that it's a thing, to be fair. Right, I've got the chicken chorizo on me, but I think I'm actually going to put it in a chest for now because I don't want to waste it when I don't have any intestine to make more. We've still got four days until the next trends, I'm pretty sure, so we've still got quite a long while. Gosh, the rate at which I run out of food, I like can't keep up. Let's do some soup. We definitely ran out of that. Actually, I've forgotten what's trendy already. Whoops. So potatoes, blueberries, grapes. Soup is actually trendy, so I really need some of that. Also sweet pie. So we'll do some sweet pie with some grapes and blueberries. And soup with potatoes. We'll do some rye because I've got so much of it. It's going to be a kind of a sweet potato pie, but it's okay. Anything else we've like run out of, really? Chicken we're almost out of, so I'll do some more of that. Oh my god, I just went to brew something. I've completely run out of ale yeast. How can I let this happen? You know what? We're going to buy loads of all of it. We'll get a bit more distilling yeast as well. Lager yeast is its own thing. So is wine yeast. There we go. We've got loads of different types of yeast on its way. <laughs> now I've got more trendy items in stock. I think I'm going to start to get a tiny bit more rep because any amount is going to help. There we go. We're getting over 300 each time now. We're out of kebab, so let's fix that. Um, Let's go with these. Although, do I change it so I've got like fruity stuff as well? Yeah, there we go. We've got like four different traits going on there. And I definitely need to get more bechamel going, so let's do that. Doing another batch of mozzarella as well because it doesn't need any aging and it's a very easy cheese to just kind of have on hand especially for the recipes that need like 20 of the stuff all right i'm going ahead calling last orders i just realized oh no i'm gonna have to force close it aren't i yep no it's too late now i should have done that damn it okay well regrets regrets were made <laughs> I missed out on the guest and I've lost all that rep. So yeah, learn from me. I should have done it way in advance, but I feel like the time ticked over from 11.50 to midnight like so quick. Well, now that we know we missed the important guest today, let's go ahead and uh, probably sort the farm out, I think. Like pick a new spot for it and set it all up again. Just gonna collect everything from here because it kind of makes sense in my head too. So I need you guys to go home. You are not needed today. Maybe later if anything. Oh my God, can I please? Okay, there we go. <laughs> And hopefully I can get rid of these trees. Damn it. I was hoping they'd be gone today. Never mind. I'm thinking what I'd kind of like to do is like make most of this area actually a animal area because I feel like they're going to need more space, especially as we expand the buildings. We'll have a look if our barn's done today as well. If it is, we'll see if we can get a little upgrade going on the coop. Well, Bon Bon is still living in a chest. No, it's definitely not done yet. So we can't do that today. Maybe I should have a front entrance here as well. Let's remove that. There we go. But hey, he's working on the roof kind of area today. That's really cool. I like the fact that the building status kind of changes each day. I am going to run straight down to Holly's shop. Let's see if there's anything new in there today. Maybe another batch of intestines, hopefully. Probably not, but we can try. There she is walking to her counter. So I guess she gets her about 10 past eight. You're late. So it looks like we've got the same stuff as before. So I'm guessing that it restocks on like a weekly basis. So that's good to know. Maybe that's what she spends her weekends doing, which I guess would make sense. But obviously we can't not steal the fruit whilst we're down here. Taking all your apples. I need them. Wait, what's down here? Have I walked this way? I feel like I've not walked this way. Oh, <laughs> there's lemons and limes I could have been having this whole time. Okay, I don't need to plant those either. I just kind of forgot that bridge was there. I thought it was just like a little fishing pier thing, but no, there's fruit. I mean, there's a tree up here that I can't actually get to, I don't think, but that's okay. Still a lot of freebies here to be had. And I do feel like I shouldn't leave here without all the stone. So what I probably want to do is have the fences kind of meet in the middle and I'm going to bring this down to line up with the other one. And then we'll have the meat like in the path area. I might end up uh, swapping the two because I feel like this side is smaller than the other. Let's have a look. Uh, or maybe they're about the same. So I can see this much of the path here. So if I go to that amount of path here. Uh, yeah, I think this side's smaller because obviously we've got this like kind of boundary here where these trees are. You can't actually go beyond this little section. So maybe we'll swap it so that this side is the chicken area. And that side is the barn area, but we'll obviously have to do that after the building is finished. Although saying that, I'm not really sure fencing in is even worth it because look at them roaming around. The only thing I might fence in is my crops because I feel like that would just look better. Like, do I just get rid of the chicken fences because they, they really don't use them. They're just out and about. <laughs> if they had a fence gate item, I'd use that. I'm going to put in some seed mix today. I think I'll alternate how I do this. So I'm going ahead and picking up all of this stuff. It's just not worth it. They're just going to run around anyway. 
And then I've just picked up the chest without emptying it, actually. I didn't realise you could do that, and I'm just going to put it, like, right by the chicken coop. I just feel like it makes a bit more sense here. Let's fill up that water. So now, where are we going to put the farm area? I mean, I could put it over here and just kind of have it going along up here, but then there's this mining bit, and I kind of feel like having this as a material area makes sense to me, so maybe we do just stick with the farm area being down here. Especially because the chickens, like, don't really go anywhere. I think what I do need to do is move the coop a little. I think it just needs to reorganise more than anything. So I'm curious what happens if I dig these up. Can I remove, or do I have to chop it? Oh, I have to chop it, okay. Since I only had one more batch anyway, I might just do that, to be fair. Although, could I only been waiting, like, two more days? I could just wait the two days. Maybe I'm just being impatient for, like, no reason. But let's go ahead and fill this all in so I can start again. Actually, first I should probably get the fences started. <laughs> I just realised as well, I've not actually checked this for eggs, like, ever. Oh, there's two eggs in here, okay. There we go. I don't know uh, if different chickens produce a different amount of eggs. I don't I don't really know how this works. I guess it's to do with their production information, so... I wish I could actually see, like, a number by hovering over it, but I don't seem to be able to. Maybe I should go and compare this with another chicken if I can find one. Oh, there we go. Hello. Oh, so yeah, this one doesn't produce anywhere near as much, but I get full meat from it. Oh, it's at a different growth stage. So I wonder if I can see that before I buy the chicken. I'll have to look more closely the next time. So I wonder if the bigger they grow, the less they produce, and therefore it's better to slaughter them? I don't know. So maybe having that spare chicken in the chest is a good thing. All right, last tile. This is pretty much taking me the entire day, as you can see. And yeah, I think what I'm going to do is let me get another new batch of fences down, and then we're going to pretty much just open tomorrow, I think. It's nice to kind of alternate what we're doing, and I think I ran out of something. I did just dump everything in here. It looks like we ran out of planks from that stack, which is fine. I'm pretty sure I'm going to have enough fences anyway. Do I have any wood to make into planks? There we go. Maybe I cancel this batch so that I can make a tiny bit more firewood. And then I can probably get some of these candles done in advance so that tomorrow we're pretty much just ready to open because I want to see if I can hit level 21 tomorrow, which I don't think we'll have any problem doing. We're all good in these rooms. These are also all good. Maybe I should have just checked this in the morning because some of them will be burnt out by then, but I think most of them are going to be okay. I mean, I'm going to see tomorrow anyway when someone tries to request a room. Oh, I just seen a missing candle holder. Hang on. There. <laughs> That's the only one I placed the entire thing. Okay, let's get to bed. Is our barn done today though? No, it is not. So it's probably going to be done tomorrow looking at this. Look at the progress. I just love seeing the different stages of the building. Before we get started, let's do a quick trend check because I feel like I'm, I know I'm doing this like a lot. But I feel like I need to. <laughs> we don't have any pills not going, I don't think. I know we've got some lager. Okay, let's go get some. What am I missing? Oh, it's the AOE yeast. I forgot about that. We can still get a Pilsner going. Oh, it didn't work. Try again. Put the same ingredients in there. There we go. So looking at our next important guest, it's going to be Tuesday again. Maybe they just come like Tuesdays and Fridays. I don't know. But yeah, I forgot I also ordered more candles as well. So I guess at this point I can probably go ahead and open. And let's shove another few kegs in there because we do have some space for more stuff. Got our first room of the day. Let's check that they're all good. Yes, they are. First one, and it's a three. We'll take it. I'm happy with that. I mean, I guess they're coming up more often than not now, aren't they? As soon as I've sorted out all these kegs and taps and stuff, I will go ahead and um, sort all the candles out. Ooh, we're starting on 98. This better be good. Or well, I better be good. No pressure. Oh my god, I just got it. Nice. New record, is that? 157? Maybe? No. Was it 158? I don't know. I don't know. Either way, it's still good. Ooh, another room. Not quite as good a rate, though. Oh my god, how can I miss the second one? Never mind. <laughs> We've got our first parrot compliment of the day. Have a cracker. Enjoy your breakfast, little parrot. Doing a quick food check and seeing if we've run out of anything in particular. We don't have any sausage and I could make that, but I don't really want to risk that right now. Could do with some more ribs, though. Oh, savoury pie. We've run out of savoury pie. Um, what should I make in this? I guess potato, because obviously it's very popular at the moment. I have got most of everything else, though. What am I missing here? Butter. Can I make butter here? Oh, I can. Okay, we're going to make a batch of butter then. All right, let's get those candles down before I forget. I think a few more have burnt out as well, so it's kind of the perfect time to do it. Oh no, how did I manage to do that? I keep on accidentally picking up the candle holders. There we go, I think all of our candles are chopped up, and I am going to put some on the bar as well, because obviously it does get kind of dark over there. I probably need to get some holders just for the bar, to be honest. I've also completely run out of wine, so we need to get more of that going ASAP. I think I've got some white wine, but other than that, I don't have the others. Uh, Yeah, red and... Oh no, I do have some rosé. Well, we need to do some red anyway. I'm hoping as well, like looking what I need in the cheese maker, it looks like I need some sheep milk and I don't have any of that. So because I've got like a hundred cow milk, I'm probably going to prioritize getting sheep if I can. I don't know if I have to upgrade my barn to be able to get sheep first, but we'll see how that works as soon as 
Buzz is done with that. And there's level 21. New item available at the post box, clay pot. Oh, I want to go have a look at that. So I wonder if this is a new item that can give comfort. Let's have a look. Clay pot. I don't think I've seen these before. Let's uh, grab like six of them because some of them can go in the rooms too. That does remind me, I did also unlock a rustic stool. So let's have a look if I can see that here. 20 planks and 10 nails for a little rustic stool. Probably not going to make that because it also doesn't add any comfort. I mean, it's cute looking, but I don't think it's worth it. <laughs> I also noticed, I'm pretty sure it said new item in the mailbox, but I didn't see that any more tiles were able to be had, so I don't know if I've like maxed out my ability to have those now. I'll have to check in the build menu when I get a chance. Because if I've maxed out on them, I'm going to have to rearrange stuff, I feel like. The only thing I'm thinking is if I move all my chests in here if I can, and then mark this all as crafting area so that I can tell it to use the items from there still, I don't know. Got another angry person, let's get rid of you. Or at least calm down. Okay, you calm down, that's good. Hopefully they don't kick off again and I can still get the rep. Oh no, I let it get cold. I was so distracted, literally just staring, watching for the wine to be done. That I, yeah, that's not good. I mean, well, at least we've got some red wine now. <laughs> Whoopsie. We've also got some other stuff done in here. I'm too lazy to refill the candles in the crafting room, to be honest. I can still kind of see what I'm doing. <laughs> Let's see how much rep that has cost us, like 25. <laughs> that's quite a lot. I calm down. It was literally cold for like a split second, not even five minutes. I think we'll go ahead and call last orders now. Whoa, someone just had 354 rep. Oh my god. I wonder why one person had so much rep. Like, I'm not complaining. I'm just confused. <laughs> Will you, like, hurry up? Okay, there we go. <laughs> so you guys go home. Let's get those cheeseburgers in the book. And then I'm going to go see what's happening outside. Okay, I've only left some uh, polished stone crafting. I don't think I can make any mortar. No, I'm out of stone completely. So I'm at least going to collect the stone that's on my farm because... It really is going to be the mortar that holds us back. I think I've only just got enough for like one upgrade. And I think tomorrow we're not even going to open until we collect every last piece of stone. Either that or we try and close early enough to go around and do it all. I don't know. It will try to stay in the habit though of trying to go to bed on time. Where am I going? This is literally the wrong way. I don't live upstairs. I've never lived upstairs. I don't know why I did that. All right, the rose wine is done, but the book is full. So I can't really do anything about that right now. And then what I'm doing now is just mining the stone from my own kind of like property area and then we'll do the rest like after close tonight. I would do all of it now but I don't want to waste too much of the wages today. Even though we're like fine on money, I just think it'll be smart to like make use of their time first and then do the mining after. And I want to give the rented room lady a chance to clean up the rooms a bit and then I can go and take them out for candles before we open too. Let's collect those eggs and then fill up the water and can't forget to feed my chickens. Right, so this one's now fully grown, so I wonder if I should really be slaughtering it because it gives me six chickens. So how do I do that? Wait, what was your name again? Florence. So I don't know how I do that. Do I just... <gasps> I do just hit it with a broom. Oh my God. I don't know if I like that. I was thinking like, oh, you hit the turkeys with a broom. Do you hit the chickens? Okay, I need to be careful out here not to accidentally slaughter my chickens then. Maybe that's why they've gone from being one hit to three, so you can't do it by accident quite as easily. So let's go ahead and place our new chicken in here. Okay, well, that's a thing. I mean, we've made room for the other chicken now. I don't want to slaughter them. Maybe from now on, I'm just going to buy them from Holly's shop. I just kind of wanted to know how that worked this time. I, I don't want to do that myself. <laughs> Probably only when we're like in a pinch. But then I suppose if they're not really producing that many eggs, is it worth it? I don't know. We'll figure it out over time. So let's have a look how the room's coming along. I mean, this one needs some candles and so does the one next to it. Oh, and I've also got those pots to add too, haven't I? All right, let's see where I can add them in here. I mean, oh, there's different stuff. <gasps> yeah, there's different decorations of them. Oh my God, I love it. Oh my God, there's so many. I'm all about this. Let's add two in here. They don't add a huge amount of comfort, but they will be a bit more important in the rooms. I mean, some of these rooms are looking really empty, so kind of perfect for these. All right, well, I've used up all the pots that I have, so um, I can probably just go ahead and get open now whilst I sort out all these candles again. I feel like that's such a daily routine is get open, put all the candles out. I feel like it's just a more efficient use of time, you know? Right, I think we're all candled up and now we've got our first room. I didn't really pay attention to the ratings of the rooms, but I think it only went up by like two per room anyway, because I think the pots really do only add two. Parrot said something good, come back soon. Yes, tell them to come back soon. Actually, what I'm also going to do is go and check the anvil outside, because I feel like I'm wondering if there's any decorations out here that I haven't made yet, or at least like haven't found, because obviously the rustic stall I can't seem to get in the book, I mean the mailbox, so I was hoping that these would give us something, but I don't think they will. I don't think it's worth it. Maybe I need a couple of these. Why not? Let's see if we've got some space now for the wine. Yes, we do. 
And then let's see if with these decorations I can place them whilst we're open, because I know that table decorations we can do, it's just, uh, I don't know with these because maybe they count as furniture. We'll see. Where am I even going to put them? I feel like I don't have that much room. Oh, it looks yummy. There you go. Okay, for these, yeah, tavern must be closed, actually. No, that didn't go the way I planned it. Okay, never mind. We'll just do it when we close then. Mind you, I suppose I could call last orders then redo it. That might be worth our while. But then I have to wait for the, like, new flow of customers. I don't know. Maybe we just do that next time. Especially since we're closing, like, early-ish today anyway. And whilst we're at it, oh, I was going to order more table decorations, but someone's got mad. Please leave the bar. Let's see. So, I get a couple of books. Oh no, these don't give you any comfort, so never mind on those. We can probably fit a couple more cobwebs in, but I think they're not going to add very much at this point. I could probably go with another decorative sword. Grab another incense burner. These only add one, so I don't know if they're worth it. We'll get a few pens. I'm going to order a scarecrow for the farm area. I don't think I need them, but like decoration wise, it'll be cute. We'll see if we can fit in a couple more candle holders. Can we fit in a creepy teddy bear anywhere? Maybe. And I think that's it, really. Should we see if our barn is done? Oh my god, it is. So how does this work? Oh, I go inside. Okay, so I should probably go and get, like, the feed and stuff. We'll go have a look. I did just hear a bell, though, so I think someone just ordered a room. Let's go see. Yes, they have. Don't want to keep them waiting too long. We do still have one more room after this as well, so I do need to pay attention. You enjoy your stay. So I think most of what I need is the hay. So with these vitamins, do I just give them straight to the chickens? I just realised I forgot to, like, check on how these work. I have no idea how this works. Maybe it goes in the food bit. I don't know. No? Oh, give. Except there's an angry person interrupting me. Actually, can I give it to you on the way? Nope. Hang on. Uh, oh no, they've gotten up. They've gotten up. Get out. And we've got someone waiting for a room. Whoops. I was so distracted by the vitamins. <laughs> Mind you, they could have just shown up. I don't actually know how long they've been there. I don't remember hearing a bell. <gasps> and we've got three. I hope your room is up to the standard you expect. Right, let's try giving these vitamins to this. So you have them in your hot bar and you hit give. And then the number goes down. Okay, good to know. Now I need to give to another chicken. There's two here, but I don't know. I think one's in the way. Can I move you? No, I can't. Okay, I just have to hope that I've done that right. Where's the last chicken? There's any problem with the way the fences work in this is they can still just walk out of them and I don't want to have to like pick up my fences every time. I didn't notice a fence gate item, so let me know in the comments if you know if there is one. I guess I'll just put the vitamins away for now. Let's see if we can do some of this while we're open. Oh, we can definitely do some of it. Oh, we can hang stuff up whilst it's open. Okay, so I'm going to put that there a sec because I want to put the rusty sword and the better one together. I feel like that looks cool. If we space them a little, this can go here. Have I given you a cracker today? You, yeah, you've had two. Okay. I have no idea why the cobwebs like add comfort. To me, that doesn't make any sense because I feel like the opposite. If I saw cobwebs, I'd be a little uncomfortable. Okay, it's just at 7 o'clock, so let's turn the fire on. I know I said I was going to close earlier today, but kind of getting a little bit carried away with decorating, and I think that's okay. We'll spread some pens around in case anyone wants to do some writing. And an oil lamp. Where are we going to put you? I do have quite a few of these around, so maybe we put this in the middle of this table as like a centerpiece. There we go. We've definitely increased our rating by a few, so it should help a little with the rep gain. We have got some lower ones because I did get a couple of angry people whilst I was decorating, which wasn't ideal, but what can we do? Have I still got more stuff to put down, actually? Oh, I do still have an incense burner. Hang on. And that's for after we close. So we're going to put you on maybe this table and creepy teddy bear. I'm hiding over here. They didn't actually add any rating, but that's okay. Okay, let's go ahead and call last order so we can go and mine at the top. And off they all go. So we'll send you guys home. I'm going to turn off the fire. I know it's cold in here, but obviously I'm not in here. And let's put down these candles first. Where am I going to put the last one? I like I'm running out of room. I'm sure they can still get through there, right? <laughs> that should be fine. There we go. We're up to 451 now, so that's actually added quite a lot of comfort. So now it's just a case of grabbing all the stone from up this area. All right, I've got a few more stones, so I think they should do for tonight. I should probably go drop it off on the mortar maker on my way past. Just kidding. I don't have enough polished stone. Let's make some more. And I should still just about make it to bed before midnight. There we go, 11.55. <laughs> I'm really happy so far with how the outside remodel is coming along. And also so excited to be having our first chickens too. In the next episode, we're obviously going to go and explore the barn animals and such. And if you've been playing this game as well, let me know down in the comments what your favourite animal has been so far. If you enjoyed the video, please do hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much to my channel members, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!